Good morning, everybody. My name is Sarah. It is another beautiful, dreary day here in Western New York. Actually, it doesn't even look that bad outside. It is, we're in the midst of yet another brief thaw. I know, look at that, look how pretty that is. That is just gorgeous. I mean, brown. You know, all the shades of brown and gray are, are equally represented here in Western New York. But, while I'm not gonna go out today because it's not gonna be quite even above the freezing mark, it looks like on the, or over the weekend, it's gonna be in the 40s. I see rain in the forecast, but there's plenty of time for that to change. And if I can be clever with my timing, I might be able to even avoid the wet. If it's in the 40s, I'm definitely gonna try to get outside as long as it's just not pouring and gross out. So, I guess I'm relegated to yet another indoor ride despite my uh, high hopes that I had yesterday when it was, I think, 45 degrees when I left work. So that's all right. Cyclists tend to be patient people, and I'm a patient person. What the hell am I talking about? No, we're not. Richmond course at all. Hilly my ass. You get three minute and a half efforts in a single lap. Zwift, make a better Richmond course. The recovery ride wasn't as insufferably boring as it was to begin with. The Richmond course just adds a completely new level of boredom. I had to create sweet spot intervals on the hilly sections of the ride. It's one of those courses that unless you're doing like sprint intervals or f intervals that are, are set for the flats, it's just not a good course, I guess, to get a solid tempo ride in. Uh, last week, I think, or the week before I landed on it, when I had like a, a two-hour tempo ride plan, I just had a really hard time staying focused on that course, but whatever. Zwift, we need more courses. Thank you. So here's a gross question. How much do you sweat? So I don't particularly sweat very much. Uh, maybe a little bit out of my head or a little bit out of my, you know, my my lower back or even up on my shoulder blades. I'm pretty efficient at cooling and utilizing moving air to cool down. And generally the, the places that will sweat for me are areas that might not be exposed to the ventilation like under my helmet or behind my ponytail or, you know, on my, on my back somewhere where the breeze isn't quite hitting. But even still, I don't sweat a whole ton. So if I were to ride the indoor trainer with the fan off, by the end of a ride, I'd probably be a little bit sweaty. No breeze, the heat's on in the house, not a whole lot of air circulating. So probably more so than if I was riding outside or with the fan on. So I'm part of a racing team. I'm part of a cycling club. I've been to plenty of running and triathlon events. Uh, and I'm around several different people, and I've met people who span the gamut between uh, not sweating at all, similar to the way I am, and just looking at the sun and just pouring sweat. I've seen people after events that look like they've been doused with a hose because they're just clearing out sweat. And I'm not, not even in a gross way, not in a judgmental way. I've just noticed that there is just such a disparity between different people doesn't matter you know shape size gender you know everybody just kind of handles heat differently and just makes me want to ask you guys out there I know a lot of you people are uh, in the cycling and different kind of physical activities do you guys sweat a lot do you guys not sweat at all you just kind of moderate let me know comments below <laughs> one of my cats just took a shit that smells so bad I fail to even understand how that happened. I mean, how how did that 
come out of you? I know it was you. For years, I have uh, counted on Zag screen protectors, the tempered glass ones for uh, Galaxy devices. And what I've done is I've used these um, OtterBox Defender cases because they have uh, they clip in to a holster, which I use at work um, because just these the phones I have are way too big to fit in my pocket, and I'm using them all the time for the camera and whatnot. So. Um, I have this S7 Edge, and before this I had the Note 7 before it was blowing up on airplanes. And they do not make the uh, tempered glass protector for these curved screens on the end. So I ended up finding this aftermarket one. I don't know if you can really tell, I'm trying to get a good reflection. And this thing is beat to shit. I think I dropped it, there's a crack along here. I mean, it looks like this thing was hit with a hammer, there's a crack down here. Now it did a jo its job. It did exactly what it was supposed to do for 10 bucks. It's protected my screen on my phone. It actually fits pretty well. There's no bubbles in it. It looks nice. It works well. It doesn't uh, interfere with the touchscreen. The plastic fascia that comes with the OtterBox, it's awful. It, you have to like smash on the buttons, it doesn't work, so I just really peel it off of the frame so that I can use my own screen protector. And this system has always worked for me. But, um, I'm gonna buy another one. It's 10 bucks, it worked. It looks like one of these things that I'm just gonna constantly have to replace. Um, but if you guys know of any good uh, tempered glass, I don't want just the film or the peel and stick. If you guys know of any good tempered glass screen protectors, I think I used the Armor Suit. Uh, I think that was the brand that it was. But if you guys know of any other brands that kind of stick on a little bit better, a little bit uh, stronger, something more along the lines of like a Zag quality, uh, let me know in the comments below because I'm looking for something uh, long term because I think I'm just going to wait for the new iteration of the Note to come out instead of going to the S8 uh, when it comes out in the next month or so. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still a Samsung loyalist. Um, don't, just don't ask. At any rate, let me know in the comments below if you have found or use anything that works well to protect uh, one of your Edge devices. There's more of this white shit on the ground. Home sweet home. Smells like cigarettes and ass in the hallway. All right guys, it's been a day. I'm exhausted. I'm ready for bed. And it's only Wednesday. Wednesday should be banned. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Yeah.